Hi guys, hope you're all well. Uh, just doing a little haul video today. Um, Sarah from Happy Hands UK has sent me some new stuff that she's uh, got in the shop. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little haul video and show you what goodies she's sent me. Uh, not even opened them, they've literally just arrived. So uh, here's a um, new line in the uh, Makume Gane pattern presses. And this one, sorry about the crinkling, um, this one is called Orbital. Uh, can you see? So you, we've got these star shapes and then this lovely Orbit pattern. Again, uh, with Sarah's stuff, very chunky, very sturdy, very lovely. This will be added to my uh, others now um, so I've got a really good range of these now and they're fabulous for doing Maca well they're fabulous for doing Makume Gane guys uh, but they're really good for doing um, um, think cap mica shift now I use the spiral one on this you've probably seen the video um, it's the circle with all the spirals coming off but you get um, some really good depth on your mica shifts with these guys um, so you know they're not just for makume they're great for putting patterns in your clay and the such so if you've not seen them before guys I can highly recommend she posts all over the world um, so you know pop along to Sarah's site and have a look at these the Brill and then she's done some texture plates and they are fabulous. I'm going to um, use these in an upcoming video. Um, I'm just going to take them all out the wrappers, guys. Um, and then the rustling is over with in one go. Um, yeah, I, um, I've actually used. I am actually going to use one for a Makume Gane. Um, but of course the texture in them is fabulous. If you want for doing a shallow style um, Makume Gane rather than you know the thicker blocks, again these would be fabulous as well as just being a texture plate there's so many uses for them and i really love the size of them um you know, they're handy to store then aren't they um i've got a box that i just stack them all in like this so i can flick through and look at the shapes sorry guys i'm taking my time because i'm chatting let's get all these undone now the um makume garni things are let me just check the price i've got the website open guys um six pound these are six pound the texture plates are six pound uh, so excellent value for money as always with sarah um and i've got a couple of other things to show you as well as these texture plates guys i just wanted to get them open <laughs> it's like christmas um so yeah, these are the new patterns of texture plates. Let's get them all together so you can see and I'll pick them up one by one. Uh, I believe these are all in the shop now. Um, so we have got the cogs, two sets of cogs. One's a tight cog, as you can see. There's a lovely depth on them. So as I've said, if you're used to doing like a veneer style Makume Gane, they'd work quite well for them. And there's one where the cogs are more spaced out. Then we have got, uh, let me see, I just want to make sure I get the names right, guys. This is the Doodle Circle Texture Plate. And just nice little doodles on there. And you can see the depth on that so another fabulous texture plate now they're not they are rigid ones they are not uh, flexible uh, personally I don't mind um, if 
you know, if my mats are um, flexible or not, I tend to think that if they're harder, they're easier to push and get a, a an equal pressure on, aren't they? Um, you know, we all have favourites for things, don't we? Uh, and these are the are these the doodle circles? Bear with me, guys. Let me just make sure I'm giving you. Oh no, this is the rings. So this is the rings, which I really love. So there's the rings one. Then we've got the doodle lines. Uh, again, this one. In fact, I've just got a bit of scrap clay here. Um, I, very, I very much like a lot of the abstract stuff that Sarah does. Uh, but what I really like about this one is it leaves um, troughs uh, so you could fill these in with coloured resin and things um, so that would be another winner with me but I think this one which is the Again, sorry guys, I've got the site up and then I wouldn't forget the names of them. This is the Retro. This is my favourite, I think, uh, so far. I'm saying I think, but I'll probably change my mind. Um, look at that. I'm going to do a Makume Gane with this after I've uh, done this video. I'm going to do a, 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 a veneer style Makume Gane you know with this pattern uh, and I th think you'll be able to match it up nicely as well so you can you know move your pattern and join it up well um, which I think you could do with any of these as well if you've got a bigger piece of clay that you're working on okay so they're the new texture plates guys go and have a nosy and uh, these are six pounds as well so excellent value for the quality um, I think I've said it before guys but Sarah's um, stuff is made in a UV bath um, it's not the you know the string stuff where it builds it up into a 3d thing it's actually um, a re it's the made from um, a special form of UV resin I believe um, don't quote me on that but they're not the um, you know the ones you get loads of lines on the side don't you so they're really really sturdy go and have a look at them now some of you know I did um, a real live workshop the other day with people and everything and we made a fabulous um, Makume Gane and um, Sarah came up with the idea because of the way we were doing it that she would make some of these push posts now you've probably seen her other little pegs I've just got a couple on the side here she also does these which are really cool I've showed you them before for putting a pattern in but these are just fabulous not only for poking in your clay and making a dimple uh, you know if you're doing makume or you're doing you know whatever you're doing but because the bigger ones have got a hole and you can actually get your finger in like this one they're a little bit dusty from manufacture I'll just give it a wipe I was thinking the other day because this is seamless it'd be great for just popping your finger on and rubbing over seams to get marks out and things um, so that's another use I've thought of with them but aren't they fabulous so she's made these shaping tools and they're beautifully domed um, so you know you don't have to use your pen lids now you've got a, an assortment of sizes um, that you can use for you know different things in your clay like I say you know you can put your dimples in and texturize and pattern with them um, they'd be great for using your Makume Gane but you could get a really wide hammered effect with these as well guys just using the smaller one um, I'll just do it quickly 
look at that hammered effect you can get now just by using these so yeah really cool they are called I'll get the name absolutely right for you they are called Makume Gane Push Posts uh, and they're actually £8 each which is great value again isn't it um, for the amount of um, stuff that's gone in to make them right now Sarah has also made me she's put it on the website and we're just calling it the wonky square now I love this shape um, especially uh, for doing um, you know cushioned pendants like let me lift one down that I've done recently uh, like this one I did um, and I had a plastic template that I made myself uh, and I just kept breaking them and cracking them because uh, of course with use over time so I asked Sarah would she mind making me a cutter and I just sent a sketch of the shape and bless her she's done it it's a very good size this guys by the way it's let me see it is three inches by three inches give or take a little bit um, but yeah that's my wonky square that she's done for me and she's put it on the website so you guys can enjoy the shape as well um, was that it I wanted to show you that I've showed you them I'm sure there was something else I was thinking I'll just mention while you're here and it's totally gone out my head yeah I think that's it guys I wanted to show you my wonky square I've definitely I've showed you them and I think I've mentioned these before guys Sarah's made me my own lolly sticks um, these are on the site as well if you're interested uh, they go from um, I think the thinnest is a 1.5 mil and they go all the way up to a six mil so if you're a hand roller um, or you know you like more substantial pendants like I tend to do uh, the fabulous for that the six mil one is just a lovely lovely thickness okay guys I think that's it um, yeah I think I've showed you everything I wanted to show you and uh, I'm just lifting the paper up in case there's something I put to the side to show you and I haven't no that's it so yeah uh, just a, a quick haul to show you these new texture plates from Happy Hands and of course the Makumegane presses which to be fair you know that is still great for doing Makumegane uh, and these are great for doing um, all sorts of things not only just the Makumegane in a block you can still use them shallow they're excellent for doing a mica shift um, because you can you know really I think with the surface being flat you can get a really decent depth um, and way up the depth even better if that makes sense anyway I'll stop babbling just wanted to show you these lovely new bits uh, that Sarah's done uh, so please you know pop along and have a look uh, give us some love if you see her on Facebook and stuff um, she's you know really getting the shops coming along now and she's got some fabulous cutters and the such I mean you've you know these are her cutters I've had these a while now they're getting a bit stained but they're fabulous uh, right guys I'll leave you there thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video bye now <laughs>